Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I am here to tell you about a product that I think is a game changer for hair and I don't think I've ever used that term game changer. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I have and I've just forgotten, that's entirely possible. But it's very rare anyway that I find a product that I'm like, wow, this is really good. Um, this was recommended by Poppy um, in a YouTube comment, so thank you so much for recommending it. Um, I do more often than not take on board um, you guys' recommendations unless it's like coming from outside of the UK because then I have to pay lots of taxes and it's you know expensive and it takes a long time to arrive and um, or it's not cruelty free but this is cruelty free it is expensive it is 26 pound um, and I did try the other recommendation from Jenna. Jenna also suggested something and I did try that one and that one isn't too bad so I will mention that as well. Um, but the product I'm talking about is this. This is by Wow or Colour Wow and it's called the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Um, magically transforms texture, amazing humidity providing powers. It doesn't actually mention anything on it about frizziness um, but that's how I found it to work but I just wanted to read you the comments so um, Poppy said if you tried Wow Wonder Coat Spray someone on YouTube recommended it to me for frizzy hair sounds good um, and I said oh, I haven't tried it somebody else left a comment saying Trish left a comment saying I've tried it but it didn't do anything for my hair mine is more wavy and kinky than frizzy I hoped it would prevent moisture making it kink um, so I just wanted to let you know that because you know, this may not work wonders for everybody. Um, but for me, I had frizzy hair after blow drying my hair and it was getting more and more frizzy as the more time was going on. And obviously with the weather, that wasn't helping either. Um, but it was, when I say frizzy, it was like, I could see, it's almost as if I'd cut my hair with thinners. I could see bits sticking up all the way down my head. I did have a picture on Instagram excuse me and it wasn't at its worst but I did take a picture um, of when it was frizzy and a lot of people said oh no it wasn't frizzy but I could tell the difference after using this so that's the kind of frizzy I'm talking about it just looked didn't look smooth it was the opposite to smooth so I gave this a go you use it on after you've um, washed your hair and you've, it's damp, you spray it all over. The great thing about this is that it's a spray. I love that about it because it means that you get it evenly coated. I often find with things that if you only have to use a tiny bit, for me, it's then only gonna go like in the ends of my hair and I'm not gonna know that it's evenly distributed. But if you then use a little bit more so that you do get it distributed, it kind of weighs your hair down and your hair feels heavy or greasy, you know. Um, whereas with this, it's got a spray that it's not just a direct spray, it's a lovely mist. I don't know if you saw that, but it's it's a beautiful mist that kind of covers everywhere. So you don't have to use too much, um, which is saying something for me, but, so I used it on damp hair and I didn't put anything else in, I just wanted to see how this worked. I used a shampoo and conditioner that is usual for me. So I actually used my Tresemme deep cleansing shampoo, although that's now changed and isn't uh, transparent, which is weird, but anyway, that one um, and the castor oil shampoo I like from Superdrug and then this and that was it and I blow dried my hair and I put my velcro rollers in and I could I just couldn't believe it because even before I thought I had frizzy hair whenever I would put velcro rollers in you would see bits of hair sticking you know I'd be moving bits of hair out of the way and there'd be hair sticking up everywhere and I just think it's fine because I knew when I took out the velcro rollers and put a kind of smoothing cream on or something that it would look much better you know um and I suppose thinking about it, I've always used some kind of smoothing product on my hair after blow drying it because it does sort of have lots of bits sticking out. Um, but I put this on, put my Velcro rollers in and my hair just looked so smooth. There just wasn't a hair out of place. And I was like, this is amazing. I did not expect it to be that impressive. And I was a bit hesitant because it is £26, but it does really have good reviews. You know, people have said it's transformed their hair. So I've tried it a couple of times since and it's it's good. It's exactly as I expected or as I found the first time. It's really, really good. Seeing that it was good, I took my Velcro rollers out, brushed my hair and I was like, yep, yeah, great. Now I just need to see if my hair gets greasy quickly or if my hair feels greasy or does it have any detangling in it or am I gonna have to use a separate product, all those kind of things. And what I would say is I probably couldn't last the three days with my hair before washing it but two days easily. Um, so it doesn't instantly make my hair feel weighed down at all. It doesn't make it feel greasy or anything like that. It, it, Cause this is it, I washed it, not yesterday, the day before. 
so well, I suppose maybe I could get to three days because actually it feels all right today um, and like I said I didn't what did I wash it yesterday what day is today today is Monday yesterday what did we do we went for a walk uh, no it wasn't it was Saturday yes yeah, so it was two days ago I washed it and it feels absolutely fine now like I said it doesn't feel greasy at all but it still sm feels smooth so that's the other thing the effect lasts it doesn't just you know your hair is, is smooth but then the minute that you go outside or the minute that a couple of hours has passed it goes back to frizzy it actually seems to to hold that smoothness you know so yeah, um, I can't think what else I can tell you about it. it it's worked really really well for me now I've got very very thick hair and like I said that person that was saying they've got curly hair or kinky hair um it doesn't stop kinks or anything like that but for me I, I just wanted smoother hair and it has given me detangling again you saw there I put my hands through this bit here and this bit is normally my the, the bit that's really difficult, the bit that if I put my hands through, it's normally tangly and it's not tangly at all. So it, it does give some detangling, which is really, really good. Um, I'm not to say that I wouldn't like use some of my other oils or whatnot, but really, really good. Um, I think that's all there is to say about that. Let me know if you've got any other questions and I will answer them for you, but let me mention the other product. So the one recommended by Jenna is this. It is the Philip Kingsley Pure Color Frizz Fighting Gloss. I feel like this was about the same amount as this one, around about the 25 pound mark. Um, and I thought, you know what, let me try this as well because I'm happy to spend money on my hair at the moment, you know, and not buy any makeup because it's my hair that needs work. And I thought if I can find something that, fights frizz and detangles etc let me give it a go and this one is is really good as well it is really good it does really smooth but what i found with this one is that my hair felt greasy almost immediately probably because i overused it um and then when i tried it a second time i used a little bit less and it still was pretty good but i, I wasn't sure i had got everywhere you know um and then it felt greasy like the day after so this one is i would say as good as as this in in fighting frizz but it my hair felt even though it didn't feel greasy when I used a little bit less of it it didn't feel greasy immediately but it felt kind of heavy you know when your hair feels lovely and like my hair now I feel like I can flick it and it feels really really lightweight my hair just felt really heavy I don't know if you know what I mean but that's how it felt and then the following day I was like yeah now it feels like I need to wash it you know um, so like I said, it's good, but it's just, I think that this one is better. Okay, I have raved enough. You guys that know me will know that I don't, I don't rave about products very often. And so, <coughs> especially when they're so expensive, because I would never want to recommend something to somebody that wouldn't work. So maybe have a look at reviews. If you're thinking about buying this, I know it's a lot of money. So have a look at reviews and see if anybody mentions your particular type of hair, you know, and see if it works on your particular type of hair. But for me, it's been amazing and I can see this being a staple, I really can. So that's everything for today. I'll list all of my makeup in the description and I'll speak to you again soon.